All anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena requiring special containment procedures are assigned an object class. An object class is a part of the standard SCP template and serves as a rough indicator for how difficult an object is to contain. In universe, object classes are for the purposes of identifying containment needs, research priority, budgeting, and other considerations. An SCP's object class is determined by a number of factors, but the most important factors are the difficulty and the purpose of its containment. Primary Classes These are the most common object classes used in SCP articles, and make up the bulk of the objects. Safe Safe class SCPs are anomalies that are easily and safely contained. This is often due to the fact that the Foundation has researched the SCP well enough that containment does not require significant resources or that the anomalies require a specific and conscious activation or trigger. Classifying an SCP as safe, however, does not mean that handling or activating it does not pose a threat. Euclid Euclid class SCPs are anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't always reliable. Usually this is because the SCP is insufficiently understood or inherently unpredictable. Euclid is the object class with the greatest scope, and it's usually a safe bet that an SCP will be this class if it doesn't easily fall into any of the other standard object classes. As a note, any SCP that's autonomous, sentient, and slash or sapient is generally classified as Euclid, due to the inherent unpredictability of an object that can act or think on its own. Keter Keter class SCPs are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment procedures often being extensive and complex. The Foundation often can't contain these SCPs well due to not having a solid understanding of the anomaly, or lacking the technology to properly contain or counter it. A Keter SCP does not mean the SCP is dangerous, just that it is simply very difficult or costly to contain. Thaumiel Thaumiel class SCPs are anomalies that the Foundation specifically uses to contain other SCPs. Even the mere existence of Thaumiel class objects is classified at the highest levels of the Foundation and their locations, functions, and current status are known to few Foundation personnel outside of the O5 Council. Neutralized Neutralized SCPs are anomalies that are no longer anomalous, either through having been intentionally or accidentally destroyed, or disabled. Apollyon Apollyon class SCPs are anomalies that cannot be contained, are expected to breach containment imminently, or some other similar scenario. Such anomalies are usually associated with world-ending threats or a K-class scenario of some kind and require a massive effort from the Foundation to deal with. Archon Archon class SCPs are anomalies that could theoretically be contained but are best left uncontained for some reason. Archon SCPs may be a part of consensus reality that is difficult to fully contain or may have adverse effects if put into containment. These SCPs are not uncontainable the defining feature of the class is that the foundation chooses to not put the anomaly into containment. Non-standard object classes the following object classes are subclasses that supplement the object's primary, or former, classification. Explained Explained SCPs are commonly articles about anomalies that are completely and fully understood to the point where their effects are now explainable by mainstream science or phenomena that have been debunked or falsely mistaken as an anomaly. Esoteric slash narrative classes Esoteric object classes also occasionally referred to as narrative classes, are object classes that do not fall into any of the above sections. They are generally only used once and are created to further the narrative in a particular SCP. It is highly recommended that SCPs use one of the standard object classes listed here. While some authors choose to introduce exceptions to these rules, they are only very rarely done and need to justify their existence and placement. Decommissioned Decommissioned SCPs are an object class that was used by senior staff in the past to not only delete unwanted articles but place them in a sort of wall of shame to serve as examples of what not to do. This object class is not used anymore. Decommissioning articles is not done anymore,
partly because such heavy-handed edits by SCP staff are no longer allowed and partly because decommissioning ended up backfiring. What is the locked box test? The locked box test is an informal guideline used to determine an object's most appropriate object class. It goes like this. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and nothing bad will happen, then it's probably safe. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and you're not entirely sure what will happen, then it's probably Euclid. If you lock it in a box, leave it alone, and it easily escapes, then it's probably Keter. If it is the box, then it's probably Thou Meal. If you can't fit it in a box and it's about to end the world, then it's probably Apollyon. <laughs>